Good. So uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, my name is Amos Geva. I'm part of the program collective of the uh, Berlin Brandenburg Jewish Film Festival. Um, we are very happy to have here with us uh, today online, unfortunately, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Simon Biton, the director and filmmaker of the film uh, Ziara. Uh, welcome, Simon. <laughs> hi, hi, welcome. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, just uh, where you are right now? Because I understand you're filming a new project already. I'm in France. I am in Marseille, in the south of France. Um, and I'm starting the shooting of a film uh, which will be also um, mostly uh, in Morocco, but I have some sequences uh, to shoot um, in France. It's a portrait of a, a, a very dear um, person called Edmond Amran El Maleh. He was mm -hmm. uh, an important Moroccan writer, Moroccan Jewish writer, and an important uh, um, communist leader of the, of the Moroccan Communist Party in the in the 40s. And uh, he is a very important uh, figure of, uh, of, of Morocco and of Moroccan Judaism in, in particular. Mm -hmm. um, so he's, uh, I knew him, uh, it's a very uh, dear person to me. And I'm very happy that I can make this film with a very small budget for now but we hope to get more. <laughs> I'm starting anyway. We hope, we hope. But let's first discuss uh, the film that uh, the audience probably just saw, um, Tiara, which means pilgrimage. Uh, in Hebrew, Aliyah la Regel. Um, it means it's... pilgrimage, it also mean, uh, means a visit. a visit. When you go to visit your, your grandparents also, you can say, you know, ah. you can go and zur them, you know. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a, you know in Arabic uh, many words have many mi meanings, and this <laughs> is one. This is one uh, of them. Yeah, and 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 one could say even uh, you know that the that the film itself is like a like a pilgrimage for you uh, yeah. to 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 go yeah. and, and and visit you. You are yourself born as a, as a Moroccan Jew um, yes. and um, made your way um, in different places uh, eventually to France, um, yeah. and. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the process of how you got to this uh, topic? What what drew you to to make a film about this? Yeah, as you said, I I, I was born in Morocco and I grew up in Morocco until I was a teenager. Then I lived for a while uh, in Israel and then most of my life in France. But I always remained a Moroccan citizen and uh, always very close to Morocco. And I started. Uh, going back to Morocco, let's say, when I was maybe 35 and more and more going back to Morocco. And uh, I started teaching in Morocco. I teach cinema also in France uh, at the university. And so my connection with Morocco was, uh, was not lost uh, really, but, I, uh, but these places, the 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 holy places the 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 cemeteries uh, the the saints you know we have a lot of saints it, it was not really you know i am a modern person so I, I, I am not i am not the kind of woman to go and uh, and you know and uh, to, to make ziara to make pilgrimage in these places but it's only at the age i would say of you know, about 15 years ago, that I started to visit these places simply because they are very beautiful. Uh, and because they say a lot of things about Moroccan culture, not only Moroccan Jewish culture, because it's, it's a shared, it's a shared uh, worship, uh, the worship of the saints in Morocco and in other places in the, in the, in the Arab world. So I just started to go to these places for my pleasure and um, not really out of nostalgia. I'm not a nostalgic person. It's just interesting. It's very interesting um, to see how the Jewish presence is still in Morocco, although the Jews are, are gone, you know. Everywhere, when you start looking for it, you find it in every corner, uh, traces. 
Uh, and what touched me the most is that most of these places are, uh, are uh, taken care by, um, by Muslim guardians uh, who are, uh, and it was a tradition, it's a mission, you know, it, it goes from father to son, from father to daughter sometimes. Um, so that's it. It, it, it. The film came out of this emotion. Uh, we left. I'm going to the places where we used to live, uh, where uh, um, our ancestors are buried. And all over, I find Muslim families, usually very modest and humble uh, people, who are taking care of our memory, of our heritage. There are no, no Jews in the films. They are all Muslims, and they are all taking care of our Jewish uh, memory. So it all came out of this emotion, but without nostalgia, as I said, because I'm interested in these people now, in these places now, and I'm interested in Morocco now. And I hope that my film says something about Morocco today. Absolutely, and and I think that the 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 thing that stands out the most uh, for me in the film is really the the uh, passion and 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 love that these guardians really hold for for the place and for the and for the past and for the culture. Um, wh what are your thoughts about uh, how 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 that came to be? I mean, is what what do you think drives them to that? Is it is it simply handed from generation to generation? Is it a a certain fascination with this culture that is now gone and, and disappeared from there? Is it also, you know, not to, to be cynical, uh, the, the financial contribution uh, in it? Or, or, or what, what was your well, insight? Of course, the, the people that I filmed, it is their job. Uh, so you could say that they are just doing their job and they are doing it well. But, you know, they are paid very, very, very little. They mm. are very poor people. So they live really out of the little piece, uh, the little uh, coin of money that, uh, that, the Jew that the Jewish pilgrim will leave um, when he comes. So I, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a financial... Um, uh, uh, it, it, they consider it usually really as a duty. Mm. And, uh, and what is sacred, holy for the Jews is, is holy and sacred for the Muslims in Morocco. And even many of these saints uh, were shared. And uh, some of them, they say it in the film, they say uh, Jews come and Muslim come and, uh, and the door is open to all. And uh, uh, there are not, no more Jews, almost no more Jews, you know, a few hundreds living in Morocco, but these places are always, you know, people come to them, people come yeah. to them, especially yeah. women, a lot of, of Muslim women come to them and, uh, and they believe uh, um, the, the, the cult, we say the cult of the saints in, in Morocco and in all the Maghreb is a very strong traditional um, uh, uh, you see saints all over the hills, you know. Uh, for the Jews, uh, I, I read uh, that we used to have about 360 saints, you know, in Morocco, <laughs> wow. which is okay. a lot. And almost, so almost one for every Muslims. day of the year. So imagine how many Muslim saints, you know. Um, it's very, very deep in the in the popular tradition. Mm. Uh, it's not really religion, because the 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 religion the 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 religious uh, uh, you know the, the the responsibles, whether Muslims or Jews, they don't like so much the saints because there there is not such a thing. As, as saints, no, no in Islam, no in Judaism. The rabbis, they didn't yeah. like so much because it's, these uh, people it's, it's, even, uh, it's even forbidden from the religion. It's point miracles of and so, but they couldn't, it is so strong inside the popular tradition, probably before monotheism. Uh, it's part. Of, it's part of the of the culture of the popular culture. So they couldn't. They couldn't really fight it. And um, for the Jews, as they couldn't fight it, now I think that they even uh, encourage it because you know the saints 
they 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 won the battle. <laughs> And, and um, in that context, um, what, what is your impression or, or, or your feeling both both personally and also from your exploration? I just film, wanted, uh, you know, it's a, I think I made, and it's not usual because I made a lot of films about tragedies, about war, about, and this film is very peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it has something to do, you know, I don't know, with my age. Uh, I, I, it's a film where I don't denounce anything. I just tell a story. Uh, mm -hmm. And I tell a story which I believe is a very political story. Even if there is nothing, you know, we don't talk about politics. And uh, because I think it's very important that today, just to tell a story of Muslims who are uh, longing for the Jews, and of a place where Judaism and Islam proved that uh, it could live, not only live together well, but really, uh, you know, integrate, integrate yeah. each other. And, uh, and this is a place where you see how close we are to each other. Yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, to show this to the world because I'm fed up. We, we live in a, it's a horrible uh, time. You know, horrible time, so much, so much racism, so much Islamophobia, so much anti-Semitism, so much, you know, people uh, have to, uh, to, 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 to run away from the, their places and they die in the sea and nobody helps them and there are wars all over and, and uh, it's a bad time, really, it's a bad time. So to me, Morocco, there are many problems in Morocco, and I am very critical, you know, of the Moroccan society and regime on many points. But still, on this aspect, this level of fraternity and acceptation of the other and the integration of culture, it's a consolation. Mm. When I go to I... Morocco, I'm, uh, it consolates me, for example, from from the middle east mm. yeah. yeah it's it's uh it's actually i mean there, there are a lot of points raised uh which i would love to delve into but we will try to see how much time we have uh but but on the question of of anti-semitism i think this is really resonating also in the debate in germany today uh because in germany um anti-semitism is is defined i guess in in three different levels you have the anti-semitism you know the classical anti-semitism which uh, you, you saw in europe for for many many years you have um the um anti-semitism coming from muslim or, or arab background which might have the political context as well and then you have also the let's say uh, mostly political uh, hate i don't know how to define it exactly if anti-semitism or not i guess it's already a political uh, de decision if to de define it or not but let's say feelings towards the state of israel as a jewish state and 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 in in these film i think you you show that actually the the um, uh, connection between islam and and, and uh, north african culture and jewish culture is is very close which which i i, I also close and very strong yeah. and uh, and our history is totally different from what you are talking about and uh, yeah. i think it is time that we tell our history we we respect uh, uh, the, the 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 other Jewish histories, but ours, this is our history, and it yeah. has uh, uh, we have uh, it was not paradise. Paradise doesn't exist, you know. Uh, uh, and uh, but but it had nothing to do with the horrors that the Jews lived in Europe. Nothing, you know, yeah. nothing to compare. It's very very different. Uh, and until today, it's very, very different. And now, if there is a tension now, it is caused by what is happening in the Middle the East. The political, yeah. What's coming yeah. from there. All what is coming from there is against, you know, yeah. uh, this the, hate. So the, I think it can console and it can give a little, maybe, you know, like a model of something. What, what used to be may be again yeah I don't it's possible know. 
and 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 th th there's an image that really resonated uh, for me uh, in the film of of the empty Torah um, closet, the, the 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 place where you put the Torah and and it's empty because it only comes when the Michal. when the yeah. when the Jews when the Jews bring the the, the the Torah scrolls with them, and I it feels to me like you know like the empty hole that was left also by yeah. the by yeah. the Jewish uh, community that left. Yeah. And I think this is this is something that that is also discussed a lot in in Germany. Uh, you know the the what this this gap, this hole that was left, this emptiness that was left, as a result of you know the in Germany and in Europe the extermination and the and the expulsion and 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 I guess in Morocco, I don't know how would you define it. Was it was it leaving? It was, was yeah, it's spelling? empty. Uh, and uh, I meet I meet a lot of uh, Arabs, not only Moroccan, who tell me. And I think it's important to, to, to think about it, that the fact that Ju Ju the Jews left, uh, it, it's a co component, a very important component of the Arab societies who left. And the, the, the Muslims, be, you know, they, 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 they left their other. And, uh, and it was not good for the Arab societies. Um, and maybe it has to do with uh, with the, the fact that the political Islamism took the took the power in so many places, and it's so important because when you don't have a minority, uh, you don't know how to deal with the other. Yeah. When when we, it doesn't mean that uh, it's enough to have a minority to be uh, you know. Uh, uh, an ideal society, but still, it it gives you challenges that that can can go well, and it yeah. and it was doing not bad actually. It was doing not bad in all the Arab world. Yeah, I, 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 I guess every I guess every country also or every region because back then it might not all have been different countries, but every region experienced yes. it uh, differently. And I think Morocco is also a very yeah unique uh, situation and story but what what you, what you say now uh, also re reminds me of of the scene um where um, i forgot the name of, of the of the guy he's describing um that the jews uh, used to be the ones buying the 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 old fruit to make their wine uh for the ceremony and 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 they once they left they had no one to give the old fruit to so it's like almost yeah. like a, a symbiotic relationship in a way and it's interesting because also in Judaism, a, compl uh, a complementary, yeah, yeah, because because also in Judaism, uh, J Jewish people need the goyish el Shabbat. You know, you need to have yeah. right? some, someone and that you can go to right. when you when you are not allowed you're to. Right. Do something and, and the Muslims, they needed the Jew for for this, for example, <laughs> you know, to make alcohol because they cannot make alcohol. You know that until now in Morocco, I don't know if in other Arab uh, countries, but until now. You need to have a, a Jewish partner uh, to open a, a business to, which sells alcohol. In Morocco, if everybody is most, yes, in Morocco, really? enough, it's enough to have a Jewish partner associate, <laughs> and you can have a, a whiskey in your hotel. <laughs> Interesting. So it's very useful, you know, to have a Jew around, and they are very nostalgic of this. Um, I think that our, you know, the, the Arab Jews, not many de define themselves as such. I still define myself as an Arab Jew, but the new generation, you know, they don't speak Arabic and they, they have other definition. In Israel, they call Mizrahim, which englobes also uh, yeah. Turkish. And, but um, Arab Jews, you know, it's now one generation that they are telling their trauma. You know, there, there are many novels, it becomes, you, you can see films and uh, not enough, but the story is already told. The, the trauma the, of being, you know, it's an exile. It's really an exile. But uh, I, discovered in, I discovered the trauma of the Muslims that we left behind. And this was not told enough you know it's beginning and i think it will be um, very healthy for the arab societies to acknowledge this trauma uh, and mm -hmm. to, to, and and to talk about it and uh, i hope that me, my film will help you know will open the hearts in this direction
Yeah, yeah, and I... there is a, there is a trauma. People are are, are are crying remembering the Jews in Morocco. So also it's because Jews for them it's like the good old times, you know. Yeah, and then you then 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 there's always the question there of the, of the nostalgia yeah. of the nostalgia as, part of it. Especially for those who have a very uh, hard life today. So of course the past is yeah idealized and I, the I, Jews are part of I, this I, past. I, I think maybe the the, the hardest uh, reality that also you describe is that, and I think this is true also in, in, in other countries, it's also in Germany and in Europe and in, in Israel and, and in, in the other Arab countries in Morocco, um, that the generations that knew uh, life together have a very different relationship um, yeah. to the topic than the generations that don't know it any other way. You know, it's uh, a, a, a German uh, uh, who never met a Jew in their life doesn't have the same connection or relationship uh, with with people who grew up, you know, with Jews in their childhood, and and the same thing also for for uh, the generation of the grandparents and parents who you know lived together uh, between Arabs and Jews and between Muslims and, and Jews and, and 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 once the generation gap opens and they don't know how it is to see the other and how it is to communicate with the other, then, then things look completely different. Yeah. But I, 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 I want to thank you again um, for the journey. But that you, take. you know, I want yeah. to add just that, yeah. I'm, first of all, I'm a filmmaker and a storyteller. And, uh, and it was wonderful to make this film because this is all what we documentary people, you know, it's a dream for, for a documentary. Uh, a filmmaker, you know, it's such a uh, wonderful to make um, a real road movie because it, really we took the road for weeks and Morocco is a very big and different and uh, and, uh, and beautiful country and, uh, and I had a wonderful crew uh, except for my cameraman uh, all my crew, uh, it's a small crew, but still uh, there is a sound engineer, an assistant at the camera, a driver. They were all young Moroccan girls, females. Ah, okay. Men. Yeah, we, there, there was only one man in the van. All the others were Moroccan women, mm -hmm. including me. <laughs> and, it was, <laughs> and it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful shoot. Yeah. Uh, Great. So, I so... very much making this film. So I, I, I think it shows on the screen and, uh, and thank you again for taking us on this uh, little pilgrimage as well, uh, even though it's uh, only on the screen, we hope to uh, one day also uh, be able to physically uh, uh, be there. I'm very je jealous personally because uh, half of my family uh, history is, is in uh, Libya and Tripoli which I unfortunately cannot visit, I think, in the next uh, near future. Uh, but you are young. You are young. You will visit. You will hopefully, visit. hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. yeah. It's very um, similar. From what I know, it's very similar. In Libya, you will find ruins of Jewish saints all over. Yeah, well, there very the context similar. of, uh, there I think the context of, of the Gaddafi years kind of uh, didn't. Yeah, not, not so much so well preserved, but yeah. you will find, you will yeah. find traces. Hopefully. Well, th thank you, though, really for the film. And we wish you the best of luck in the competition as well. Yeah. And also, and I, with hope your the, new project. I hope the public will like it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure we'll get feedback. So thank you and have a great uh, shoot.